Now, I want to leave you with how the Lord showed it to me. And I want you to get a picture of that because what used to be the atmosphere here, the Lord's changing it. And, you know, I I learned something from this journey up here. On the plane, I had to make a decision when I was flying from Charlotte uh, to go Philadelphia or Harrisburg. And I told her, which uh, Harrisburg had a mechanical problem. We couldn't take that flight. And, of course, she got the last two seats coming to Philly. And... (coughs) The last two seconds. <laughs> and she said, I'm sorry, you know, because, you know, when you have status, you fly first class. We were in middle seats. <laughs> and I was between people. <laughs> and I said, Lord, whoever that was that did not show up at that first class seat, find him another flight. And they came on, and I got a text from her, said, go ahead and move up to 2C. The guy didn't show up. I said, thank you, Jesus. I didn't even look back at Aaron. You know, you have to learn, like Jesus, like God said, To Lot's wife, don't look back. Just keep on moving. (laughs) And I sat down by this lady, and she said, I have waited for somebody to get here because I want my husband to sit with me. Will you trade places (laughs) with him? And I said, I'll do anything if I can just get to Pennsylvania. (laughs) I mean, it was crazy. Crazy. Now I'm telling you, it's crazy. Now, here's how the Lord said it to me. He said, I have chosen Nazareth in territory to shift them from their unbelief and move them into their role of Capernaum host. Nazareth, Joseph came back to with Jesus from Egypt. But Nazareth was so familiar with those 28 years that he lived there, or 25 years that he lived there, that when it got time for him to display his Messiahship, they couldn't receive it. Familial and familiar spirits stop you from seeing the next move of God. And what the Lord was saying, I know the cities to break familial and familiar spirits from. I know the cities that will become a host for the new ministries ahead. Because Capernaum eventually was, he went back to Nazareth. Even God himself couldn't do anything there. So he ended up in Capernaum. And his miracles and power. Now what the Lord is doing starting tonight is showing us the Nazareth cities that will be the host for his next move of God. And the Lord says, get ready. You're a model. 
you could not have come here tonight lest I sent you. Now I want this front row to stand up for a moment. The Lord says this begins drastic changes in the way that you will start expressing who I am in days ahead. You will not hold back. You will begin to spread who I am and what I am doing throughout the entire territory. The Lord says this is the beginning of a move of God where I will visit cities and cause my people to recognize each other in ways they've never recognized each other before. I say this will be the move that I began where I raise up a kingdom troop that begins to walk together and worship separately and then come back with power together. I say to you, this is the beginning of awakening America's eyes to its next move of my spirit. And what was resisted in other decades and other centuries will not have the power to resist what I will be doing in days ahead. Let's all stand up now. You have created a model here. With your worship. And now, I will send you forth to spread my good news of how a city can come alive again and begin to laugh from earth to heaven. I say, Scranton, your joy will be made full again, saith the Lord. Let's thank God for what he's doing, Jamie. Let's thank God for Jamie.